Hello everybody, thanks for watching. Today I want to talk to you about how to work with Cisco licensing support to get all of your licensing issues taken care of. There's a lot of questions, confusion around this at times, uh, and sometimes unneeded delays because of this process. So I want to talk to you about how to open a case, uh, why to open a case, when to open a case, and the information you need to open a case with Cisco licensing and my experience with the Cisco licensing team is that once you have that information all put together, the case is resolved fairly quickly in really almost all cases. So anyway, if you're new here, hit subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you find this helpful. With that being said, I'm going to dive into it. Okay, so first of all, the reason that you might want to open a licensing case, probably the reason that I see more often than anything else is there is some issue in the fulfillment process, uh, either because something was missed by the partner something was miscommunicated, there was some documentation that was missed, whatever uh, the case may be, uh, you will need to open a case with Cisco to get that resolved. And a lot of times it involves Cisco licensing, taking that uh, sales order information and turning it into a license for you that you can then apply to your Cisco devices. In some other scenarios, someone will have a PAC a claim key or other licensing information and they have some type of issue getting it assigned to a device. Uh, in the case of Unified Communications Manager, occasionally there might be uh, the wrong version ordered or something of that nature. Uh, again, licensing can help here. Uh, third would be rehosting of licensing. Now, a lot of times if there is an RMA, this is handled by TAC. You can ask TAC to assist with this, uh, but licensing can also get this done for you. In some instances, you don't really have a, a technical issue, but you just want to rehost that license to another device. Again, licensing. In the video description, I'm actually going to have a couple other links. Uh, the link to get to the tools that I'm going to show in this video, as well as a link to Cisco's Smart Account uh, YouTube channel. They have a number of different videos out there as far as how this feature works or how the smart accounts work, some demonstrations, a walkthrough, a ton of stuff. So definitely check that out if you're new to smart accounts, if you have questions. And uh, yeah, by all means, check it out. With that being said, I want to jump into the demo. I'm going to show you specifically how I open a case, and I've found this to be really the most effective way for me to get a case open quickly uh, and to get the details into Cisco and ultimately get the case resolved. Let's jump into it. All right, so I have a link in the video description to this page, the Contact Cisco page. There are a number of reasons why you may contact Cisco. Uh, in this case, we are looking for software licensing support. So if you click that, you'll be taken over to the uh, specifics, right, on how to, how to contact Cisco. Kind of highlights a few details there of why you may contact Cisco. Uh, we have a 1-800 number. There is actually a licensing virtual customer assistant, i.e. a chat uh, mechanism. So if you wanted to come over to this, you simply put your email address in, uh, choose your licensing methodology, and click chat now. And you'll be on chatting with someone uh, about that straight away. Close that out. Jump back to this again. And... Um, uh, the, the next option here is to open a case online. This is actually the same tool that you use to open a TAC case. So it'll bring you over here to Support Case Manager. You can click Open a New Case. Uh, choose your you know product line, I guess you would say. Uh, Cisco Products and Services, Open a Case. Uh, this, this will work. This will get you to where you need to go. But uh, as you know, or as you may notice, there's uh, it's more geared toward a TAC case, right? Because this is a tool you use for TAC cases. Uh, it will prompt for a product serial number, um, so on and so forth. Uh, so it takes you more down that TAC case route. So give it a whirl. It, it does work. Um, I typically don't do it this way, and I'll explain why in just a moment. The next option is the Global Licensing Operations Email uh, alias uh, or option here. Uh, I'll show you this. This is actually my preferred way. So if you open up an email, you'll see your uh, you know email is kind of built out for you, or at least the template is. So licensing at Cisco.com puts a subject and then it has to provide some details. So Cisco.com user ID. This is the user ID you log into Cisco.com with. 
Uh, you're going to want to include that. This is the information that they use to tie this case back to you. Now, once this case is open, you will see it in the support case manager, which I just showed earlier. Uh, in this Cisco.com user ID is used to do that. Next piece, product name, very straightforward. So if it's a, in, you know, a, a router, a switch, uh, collaboration software, whatever, put that there. Issue and request details. So if you're trying to fulfill an order and get a license that way, uh, you know, describe that. If it's a rehosting, same thing. Finally, this is probably the big piece that uh, that can take some time if you're uh, not not ready to provide this information straight away at the beginning, but uh, you want to provide some entitlement information that proves that you bought this product or software or what have you. Uh, if you can get the Cisco sales order number from your Cisco partner, that is pretty much gold. Uh, and the Cisco partner should be able to provide that to you pretty readily uh, if it's not even uh, part of, you know, noted somewhere on uh, the invoice or billing information that you may have gotten from them. So that's probably the biggest thing that I see, particularly again with fulfillment. If you have gotten an email or a paper pack, you know, claim, key uh, of sorts, you can put that information here as well, and the device identifier. So if you're working with a, uh, I don't know, an ISR or an iOS device of sorts, the device, I believe it's the UID uh, information, is used to link that, that license to your device. Provide that as well, uh, and again, indicate what the, uh, what the product is and, and uh, that type of thing and go from there. This is extremely important or extremely helpful in getting the case remedied uh, and you know move to completion very quickly, right? Because they can go in, Cisco Licensing can go in, look at that information and say, yep, this guy bought this a couple weeks ago, we wanna get it fulfilled. Boom, done, the, uh, the case is, uh, is taken care of. Now, if you do send this email in and you don't have your cisco.com user ID, what will happen is you get a bounce back message that looks something like this. It says, dear value customer, apologize, da, 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 da. Essentially, it ultimately says, hey, we need your Cisco.com user ID, right? That's, right? that's right here. So the case has not been opened. To, you know the case has been opened when you get an email that says, here's your case number. Uh, so this will actually give you more details on how you can reach out to um, you know, reach out to Cisco licensing. It references that virtual chat assistant. It renders, uh, suggests Cisco Software Central, a number of other licensing tools that allow some self-service. So uh, there's actually, this is really the best document on how to work with licensing right here is this email. So uh, you can get a copy of this. Uh, actually, I'll put the body of this in the video description as well, but you can get a copy of this by simply sending a bogus email to licensing at cisco.com quite frankly, uh, and it has a ton of links in it. So uh, again, great resource. Uh, either way, once you fix up whatever the error is uh, and resend, that case will be opened and uh, you'll be good to go. So uh, anyway, to wrap it up, there's a lot of information that's needed to get this case moved through quickly. Uh, be sure to provide it, that SO number, your CCO ID, uh, and really just as much detail about what it is that you're trying to do uh, to get the uh, the licensing situation resolved. Licensing is very efficient. They get these cases in and out pretty quickly. Again, assuming they have the information they need to, uh, to validate the claim. So anyway, that's it. Hopefully that's been a helpful introduction to Cisco licensing support. If you have questions, comments, other tips or tricks, leave them in the comments section below. Uh, if you have still have questions, reach out to your local Cisco account team or a high value Cisco reseller. Um, with that being said, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you back here sometime soon.